Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have noticed that there are a lot of new faces here, so I wanted to take a moment to thank you, thank you for your support, and to welcome you. My name is Annalisa, and I'm trying my hardest to be consistent and post a video every Sunday, so stay tuned. Today we're gonna talk about how to always be classy, elegant, and put together. Overall polish. This is a build on to the video, how to dress like an Italian. Although this is not specific to Italian. Why do you want to always be put together, polished, classy, elegant? Because you want to do it for yourself. Mostly you have to do things for yourself. Not only is it going to make you feel good, confident, it's going to add that little extra pep in your step and everything else that comes from it, that is all extra. What is elegance? I asked some of my friends and I got many answers. Being comfortable with yourself, feeling at ease in your own skin, in the outfit you're in. It's uh, pretty much an extension of who you are. Like Yves Saint Laurent said, style is forever while fashion comes and goes. And uh, you have to find your own style and not only your own fashion style, but your style as a person. What is class? Class is so many things. There is something that somebody told me a long time ago and it really stuck with me, it resonated with me. And it is that people do not remember what you do, but they do remember how you made them feel. That is class. In Italy, we have a say that is la classe non si compra meaning no matter how rich you are, you cannot buy class. So let's start with the basics. The basics is to keep it simple. And I am a true fan and believer that less is more. By keeping it simple and effortless, so the less is more really comes into play. I feel you can go easily from a day event to a night event. You can always look very dainty and polished and put together by keeping things really simple with clean line, like we did in the Italian video. Go check that out if you need a refresher. <laughs> or if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna link it up here. Some great example of simple styles are jeans and t-shirt. You can dress them up with a blazer or with the heel. Think Audrey Hepburn, think how she dressed. There is a reason why she's considered so timeless, so elegant and classy. And her style was so simple. Study those images, apply it to yourself if you want to have that very simple, easygoing but yet elegant style. Fact, being elegant and put together has nothing to do with money nothing to do with money, okay? I know people that are on strict budgets, they're students, and they still look amazing because they know how to pair things and they keep it really simple. And I know people that have a lot of money and wear designers head to toes and logos, and they still don't look put together, <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Class is an attitude, is a mannerism, is the way you talk, you walk, you carry yourself in public, you treat others, and at the same time, you can be very assertive, fluid, and feminine. Grooming. Okay, so many people underestimate the power of grooming, and I'm not talking about putting on a full beat of makeup, I'm talking just simple grooming standards. Brush your hair, groom your nails. You can have a natural manicure, trim your nails, uh, file your cuticle, polish, oil, all that stuff. Wash your face, moisturize, put some lip balm. Those are all little things that you need to do for yourself. And I promise you, they make you feel better, they boost your confidence. It's amazing, even if I'm staying in sometimes and I'm feeling a little blah, just by brushing your hair, refreshing your face with a splash of water, putting some moisturizer, even put on some of your favorite scents or lotions. It just has a way to just make you feel worthy. You're telling yourself, I am worth it of this self-care, I'm worth it of my time. I love my body, I love the skin I'm in. It's self-love and it's so important. An elegant look can have accessories but not a hundred of them. <laughs> Usually an elegant look will have one nice accessory. It's the centerpiece. 
That's why when you go to a table, there is a centerpiece, not 15 of them. You want all the eyes on that centerpiece. It can be a unique piece of jewelry. Your centerpiece could be a bold red lip. It could be a bow on your hair, or it could be an interesting braid in your hair. It doesn't have to be anything super loud, but it's something unique that will catch the eye. However, if in doubt, if you're doing one of those, should I wear this necklace or this belt? When in doubt, just remove it, and you can never go wrong with that. Keep your makeup clean, and this is a double meaning, as in clean your makeup, <laughs> clean your brushes. Keep your things tidy and organized. It's also gonna make you feel good to have the space around you nice and neat, but also keep your makeup clean, as in don't cake it on, go for a more moisturized, dewy, glowy look. Um, take care of your skin more than just covering it with makeup because if you have good skin you can literally put just a little bit of blush, bronzer, a little lip gloss, a little red lip and it's gonna look fantastic. The skin is your canvas, it's a big canvas so if that looks good you can do minimal work to that. This is huge for me and uh, I think this is dictated a little bit by time constraints but it doesn't work for everybody, but I find that people that tried it out were very successful with this. Create your own uniform. And people right away think black, white, gray, beige. No, you can be somebody that wears all the colors in the rainbow and uh, still has a uniform. By a uniform, I mean you know what type of garments look good on you. There are certain pants, certain cuts, certain length, certain leg style. Buy those garments, get them tailored, and create wardrobes around those garments. You're gonna feel confident because those are the clothes that you feel your best in. Therefore, you're gonna move better, walk better. It just carries all over your body. There is no if and or buts, it just does. <laughs> Here is where the Italianness comes in. <laughs> the purses and the shoes. I know a lot of people like to invest in those. Uh, the shoes not as much here as in Italy. In Italy we really invest in our shoes and Italian shoes are amazing. The quality is insane. I purchased shoes that truly really lasted me 20 years. The craftsmanship is so good. So if you can afford investing good shoes, not only because they are comfortable, but also they're beautiful. So they make a fashion statement while you have the comfort in them. And purses, that's a personal preference. I used to have really pretty purses, I still have them. Unfortunately, they tend to live in my closet because with my job I always have a camera bag with me. Purses can also make a really beautiful statement on a very simple outfit. What do you guys think? Are you purses people? <laughs> Let me know what your tips are for this. I cannot stress enough. In Italy, first of all, your mom will stress you with lingerie since a very young age, but it's not because she wants you to be cute. <laughs> it's because she will literally tell you Make sure you have clean or pretty underwear and that things match in case you get into an accident and you have to go to the hospital. That's exactly the words of my mom and I'm sure many other Italian moms. My Italians in this channel can vouch for that. But I think it stays with you because think of lingerie as the foundation. When you build a house, when you build anything, there is a foundation and then you build from that. The lingerie, that's what it is, is your foundation. You're doing it for you. It makes you feel confident. It will shape you a little bit. And everything that sits on top will look either really good or really bad. There are certain bras that are very lacy, that are gorgeous, but they will look terrible under a t-shirt. And then you have t-shirt bras, which they have a little bit more of a smooth look and they just blend with the t-shirt perfectly. So even for lingerie, there is time and place. You do not need to spend hundreds of dollars. There are some good lingerie brands that are very affordable, very durable, but trust me, do not underestimate the power of lingerie. And you have to do it for yourself. It's gonna make you feel sexy. It's your little secret. Never say no to a little bit of black. Black dresses, black uh, turtleneck and black jeans. Black is always chic. So if you're ever in doubt when going somewhere at the last moment and you don't have anything picked out, go with black. It's very elegant, very chic. You can put any splash of color with black. You could do a black turtleneck, 
black pants with red shoes and a red purse. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but I think everybody should have in their closet a little black dress. It's a staple, come on. <laughs> Do you guys have a little black dress? I wanna know. The last tip, okay? Do not underestimate the power of good manners and a little bit of etiquette. I'm not talking about going crazy with uh, knowing exactly what fork is for what at the table setting. I'm talking etiquette as a simple action. If somebody holds your door open, say thank you. If you see somebody immediately behind you, hold the door for them. Little act of kindness, that to me is also etiquette and having good manners, being aware of uh, people around you, little things that will make your day better if somebody were to do it to you. So this is some food for thoughts. I wanna know some of your interpretation of what class is, what elegance is, did I leave anything out? Those are all my own researches and life experience combined, including asking my friends. So this is my personal experience, my point of view. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let's meet in the comments below. You guys know how much I love engaging with everybody and interacting, so I look forward to the conversations and I will see you on my next one. Bye! Ciao belli, ciao a tutti gli italiani che sono qui. <laughs> I said bye to all the Italians that are now on this channel.